Memory Thursday. We are playing with magic in you. One of the things I've become aware of is in this time when the world is kind of, everything's the opposite of what it appears to be. Nothing's the opposite of what it appears to be. Uh, everyone's at home. What are you talking about, Susan? Magic! <laughs> so, for all of you that are at home, I thought, what could I create for you? And it was this magic series. Uh, we're going to go as long every Thursday. Hey, Rita, uh, as you are stuck at home in your countries, hey, Rosanna, it's my way of reaching out to you and giving you a big energetic hug. And let's do a little creation, right? There's too many people talking about doom and gloom and all kinds of stuff. So not for me, not for you. Let's have a little magic, if you please. Waiting for all the algorithms to kick in. Hey, hi, Rita. Hi, Rosanna. Tell us where you're from. We have an international community. So grateful. Uh, when I put out the Thursday, last Thursday, when we began this series, hey, Tessa, uh, I contacted all of you and asked you, what else would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk about? Uh, what would you like to have a conversation about? And a lot of people came back with money. Hey, Kelly, Kelly, with uh, how can I change this? Hey, Jim, how can I even ask? Let me see if I can bring up that letter. Uh, from the mountains of Colorado. Hey, Daniel. Nice, nice. Look at you. Wow. Love Colorado. Uh, let me see if I can bring up that letter because it was really great. Um, <laughs> maybe not. It was really great. The uh, comment that somebody asked me. Oh, I know. It's in my notes. Magical, right? Keeping notes. That's kind of magic. Okay. Questions. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we come up with. Aha. Yes, I've got it right here. So, hey, Tessa, here we go. Uh, yeah, ask and you shall receive. What does it look like and feel like when you're truly seeking? All the places you stopped asking and all the fears around what it means to ask and be willing to ask and the fear of actually receiving what you are asking for. Can we have something in those lines? Hey, Jim, hey, Dilpreet, welcome, welcome. And then there was a lot of other requests for, can we have magic with money? So I thought, let's put those together. So uh, I might ask you, what is it that you've decided? Uh, did, oh, wow, totally different. Yeah, what have you decided money is that it isn't? And what have you decided money isn't that it actually is? So notice I say the word decide, right? How many of you were brought up in a household where from the age of one to six, you were implanted with all the ideas of what money is, what money isn't, how you get money, how you don't get money. Notice there's no gifting and receiving there, right? So when the question is, how do we ask and you shall receive, how many of you were actually even taught what receiving's all about? How many of you were told you have to work really hard for everything you get, right? How many of you were in families where people worked from nine to five and on the weekends, uh, sat in front and watched TV or the football game or whatever that was. Hey, Jenny B. Welcome, welcome. Right. So could it be that you got your ideas of how to receive money as how to get money? Totally different ball game, right? Uh, I know in my family, you didn't let anybody know how you got your money and how much money you got. Hey, Monica. And I use the word get and decision because money act receiving is a choice right? getting is an obligation i work from nine to five and you owe me this much money right or hi julia i i put this much effort in so i should be receiving that i mean how many of you can i see some thumbs up or hearts how many of you were raised with that point of view that money is a structure there's a certain way to get it there's a certain way not to get it Right? There's a point of view about people who have too much. There's a point of view about people who have not enough. Hey, Shireen, welcome. Right? So if you were raised with, and for the most part, we were all raised with that, those points of views from the ages of zero to six. Right? So we learn to act and react. We learn to mimic. Oh, I got a th one thumb up. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of thumbs up. We learned to, yes, Tessa said yes. Thank you. Oh, by the way, thank you, Tessa. This is not a dialogue or a monologue. It's a conversation. So if you're new to Ask Susan, come on in. Come in with your questions. Come in with your points, your comments. Come in with it all, right? This is a place to actually be the magic we truly be, right? 
but in order to, to it, people say, yeah, I want, hunt. if I work with a client and they say, I'll ask, what do you want three months from? I want to be a millionaire. I want, well, are you willing to receive money? Well, what does that mean? Right? So we, we actually create, so everything that this all brought up, right? It's, it's important for you to be aware of where your references came from so that you can actually acknowledge them appreciate them like I appreciate everything that my family did for me right their way of being with money might not work for me now it might not have worked for me but I do so appreciate that they got their points of views from their parents their culture their countries wherever they lived in right you don't have to buy anything as true and real so if you're willing to kind of like oh yeah that's not even mine Right? That's my father's point of view. Like when my father passed away, all of a sudden I got this download of every every point of view I had about business that actually wasn't mine, that I was mimicking from his life, from what he did. Maybe to align and agree with me, him, maybe to so we could be friends. So everywhere you've created points of views about money, how you what money is for you, what it isn't for you, so you could have best friends, so you could have a false sense of security so you could have uh, a, what you would call an intimacy with somebody yeah we both think the same about money it's really hard right hey Kimberly I was working with a client the other day and she, she said to me oh I'm not having any income and neither is George I was like wow when you tell the universe you don't have income coming in right now you're telling the universe you're not interested in any income coming in right now anything coming in right hey Jagmeet Dignish so every point of view you have I've talked many times about everything that you think and be it's a vibration that you put out right so hey Daria oh I got a thumb and a heart on that it's the vibration that you're putting out so if you align and agree with anyone's points of view about now is a time that you have to uh, be be careful uh, now that you're at home, you won't be able to have a job. You won't be able to have an income. You won't, you won't, you won't. If you have that point of view, that's the energy you're putting out. Rather than using this time to actually dive into the magic of who you truly be. Huh, I wonder what I could create today. Right? How much are you actually willing to receive? Are you willing to live in abundance? Right? When we're, Oh, I got a heart on that. When we're willing to live in abundance... There's wealth. <laughs> Hola, Daria. There's wealth, right? And I go like this, because we live in a universe that has both. Good, bad, right, wrong, right? The poverty and wealth. And here's, the, here's abundance. So if you're asking to live in abundance, are you willing to actually receive the abundance that the universe has there for you? Janie, yes, you cannot say can't or else you block the flow of money and abundance, right? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So yes, definitely, Janie. So when the question came in, what does it look like or feel like when you're truly asking, I would ask you, are you willing to drop your barriers, right? And just be totally present with no judgment. No points of views, no expectation. Just like, huh. Right? Being all of you. You feel how that changes and shifts uh, what goes on in your body, the cells in your body, who you be, what you be, and how you be with money? Right? It's the willingness to, to let the universe know all of more. Right? No matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, all of more. And then be that energy. Like attracts like. Be that energy. I told you all on uh, an Ask Susan Sunday how I was at the grocery store and uh, someone went into my purse and stole my wallet. And there was, oh, between the gold coins and my 10%, uh, there must have been about $700 in there, uh, even more, because that there was the cash and then there was the gold coins. Right? So you do the math on the gold coins. And I went right across the street to the bank. I stopped all the credit cards. And we could see them coming in, right? We could see them using them. 
And uh, so I cleared all that. I stopped and no identity theft. I phoned the right people. And the next day I was given a call by the police and they said, oh, we found your wallet. Well, I, I, I opened the wallet and there was nothing in there except some identity cards. And deep down in the bottom, there was something wet because they had thrown it in the trash can that was like a folded up piece of paper. And I unfolded that piece of paper and it was a check for $5,000. Thank you, universe. I didn't have a point of view about somebody stealing my wallet. I was like, well, what was I not aware of being in the question? I, did I owe the money from another lifetime? Did I steal from them in another lifetime? Okay. Was I actually in conversation with the cash and the gold coins? Or had I just decided, oh, this is what you do? Right. And uh, I did what, what's required. Go right to the bank. Shut everything off. Call the identity theft people. Get that done. And ask so, I wonder what else is possible today that would add to my life and my living right away. While it comes in the next day, look at that. There's a check for $5,000. So, you know, we often talk about being the magic. You know, that's what this whole series is about. Are you willing to be magic? So, true magic is the willingness to be out of judgment. True magic is the willingness to know, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, Everything will shift and change. And it's about being present with what it is that you're asking to create, right? Are you willing to live in abundance? And again, wealth over here, no wealth over here. What, what are you choosing? And that's when you ask me the question, what does it look and feel like when you're truly asking? It's, you know, it's a willingness to be present with the magic that you be, knowing that whatever it is that you're creating is going to turn out far better than anything else you've ever thought of, including receiving money. So, um, receiving, what is receiving to you? That would be my question. The first question is, what does money mean to you? What do you mean to money? What does receiving mean to you? And what do you mean to receiving? Right? Are you willing to be the magic of, of whatever shows up? Whenever it shows up, right? Magic is like awareness. It's just a gentle, a gentle caress of the cheek that says, yes, right? It's how you be with it. Are you willing to receive more money than you ever thought was possible? Are you willing to ask for all the monies owed to you in any lifetime, be they gold, silver, jewels, right? Um, copper, metal, paper. What could that look like? Have you decided there's only one way to make money? More people are going into business right now in their homes than ever before. Right? I have more clients coming to me and asking me, how do you, Susan, you stop traveling the world about you know, three, three years ago, and you have this thriving business from your home. How do you do that? Right? It's about being present with what's being asked. It's about listening and being knowing you are magic. You came here to be magic, right? So everywhere you've stopped your, your point of view, uh, everywhere you've created a point of view about how money has to be earned, received, gotten, how's it working for you? Like, what if you actually played with money? There, right down here, there's an American dollar bill, right? And I'm, every day I look at it, and I'm so grateful because uh, the Canadian dollar has dropped, and I'm like, huh, so what would it take for more of these to come into my life? Uh, I'll show you how I write my, my, in, my checks. So this is where I have my ledger for my business, and this is where, this is where I write my checks. And on the other side is all the currencies from everywhere I've traveled in the world. So that when I write a check, this money contributes to the, this money. So I'm always having them talk to each other. And for every check I write, I acknowledge and receive and ask for what would it take for this to come back tenfold. Somebody once said to me, do you know how much money is in here? It, it's not, it's the magic of money and my willingness to be present with money that creates more. Yeah. Questions. Anything popping for people? I'm going to go back in here. Muskan says, wow, uh, you're an amazing example to use awareness and not making anything tragic story, being present with what is. Absolutely. A story is, is just, that's what it is. It has nothing to do with the present. Stories are always in the past, right? Uh, everywhere you're holding on to the story of what money is in your family, uh, would you be willing to let that go? How's it working for you? 
right? Are you willing to live in abundance? I, you know, I keep, I often talk about the magic of living in abundance, right? If you haven't seen the first of the series, go back and watch it from last Thursday. It's about being magic. We are magic, right? And so everything we touch is magic. What have you decided money is that it isn't? What have you decided money isn't that it actually is? Money is the catalyst, right? Magic is a catalyst. So all the lifetimes you were actually magical with money and, and just created it like, oh, I'll have more gold coins. Boom. And we're punished, killed, uh, tortured for it. Would you be willing to let that go? Because I wonder what you could create today. Janie, uh, do you believe in meditation for financial abundance? What, what, uh, would that be part of being present? If it works for you, that's awesome. Right. Hey, jo Jolyn, welcome, welcome. Uh, I actually, when I, when I, I'm, I am, I be the question. I am the question. It's everything I be and do. Right. And so uh, some people meditate. Uh, some people do vision boards. Some people uh, send out mantras. Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's my, my question is for everybody. Are you willing to be that abundance? Because there's a difference between uh, running clearings and meditating and uh, saging or whatever that is for you and actually being present with it, with that abundance. I mean, what does abundance mean for you? What does magic with abundance mean for you, right? So I hope that gives you information. Uh, being present is whatever brings you joy. Right? Some people get up in the morning and they're very quiet and they meditate and that brings them joy. Whatever it is that brings you joy, I'm, I can't answer that for you. Everybody has their own way of being present. Being present, there's a way of being present that works for each of us. Being present is there, it's just being right there in that 10 seconds. Poof. Right? It's like, oh, you know the difference when somebody is listening to you and they're really there with you or their mind is racing in 40 different ways and as instead of looking at you they're talking like this and, and oh yeah i know i'm paying attention and they're right being present is that body mind soul and spirit 100 percent right there now you know if something's working for you there's a lightness to that so whatever brings you that lightness for sure absolutely go for it uh tessa gray when you say those barriers how do you describe it Drop your barriers, how to describe it. Uh, is it, it is being present. Dropping your barriers are any point of view that you have. So we're talking about magic, we're talking about money. Dropping your barriers has to do with, oh, wow, I didn't realize I, I had that point of view. I'm going to just like let it go. It's like a hot potato, let it go. Woo! Or creating some distance, right? When you're, you know, I often talk about taking aerial view of who you be, what you be, and what you're creating and how you're creating. When I say to take it or ask you to take an aerial view, it's because I want you to step back. Okay. We tend to, oh, there goes my chair. <laughs> that was fun. We tend to focus in and, you know, as you focus, 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 you make it harder and harder and harder to step away from whatever it is you've decided you can't have or that isn't working. If you take an aerial view, you're actually creating that distance that's required in order for you to breathe, be present, and be in the question. Right. Hey, Margaret. Uh, let me know if that helps you, Tessa, and anybody else. And sometimes I play with, oh, you know, when I when I teach classes about barriers, I just I ask people actually to put their hands up here. Hey, Michelle, put your hands up here. Get a sense of all the barriers that you have. So everybody, let's just do it now. Put your hands up here at your shoulders. Get just get all those barriers underneath you like a mother hen. Just oh yeah, there's that and that and that and that, and I'm pissed off about that and that and that, blah, 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 and this isn't working. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Because barriers are really a fancy word for judgment. <laughs> and now push them down, 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 push them down. Let the earth take them. Keep pushing, 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 push them down, push them down. Release them all to the earth. How's that? Are we in the right wheelhouse? That's magic, right? The earth is there for you. The earth is there to contribute to you. Money is there for you. Money is there to contribute to you and with you. Are you willing to be the contribution that attracts the vibration 
of, of the magic that you be, right? Oh, you feel lighter. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's magic. Brilliant, says Tessa. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tessa. Any other questions popping for people, right? There was a, a question about uh, being an entrepreneur and magic and money. Uh, whoever it was, uh, let's come in with a little bit more information on that. There's all kinds of entrepreneurs. I might ask, you know, what have you decided, hey, Gita, uh, that being an entrepreneur in today's world means about you, you not receiving and being the magic of money, you know? Be present with you. Ask yourself, what is, what, you know, this morning, walking the dog, my best conversations with myself, what energy, space, and consciousness can my body and I be to perceive, know, be, and receive who we truly be, what we came here for, and what we are doing. That's magic. Right? The willingness to be in the question, the willingness to be with money, is magic, right? What is it that you could play with today that would actu actualize the currency of magic that you're being asked to be with and play? I wonder what that could create. So, uh, some feedback. Uh, how has this been for everybody? Uh, let me see some thumbs up or comments or hearts. If you're watching this on the replay, press hashtag replay. I always check in and I'll be checking in with you to see, you know, what, how has this been for you? Uh, it, it's so important when we're gathering together that we actually change and shift, right? Because that's magic, right? That vibration of possibility, of ease, of knowing that there's so much more beyond what's going on right now. And it's about, oh, I thank you so much. I got smarts on that. And it's being present. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly says it's been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I'm going to continue the Thursday series. If you would like me to continue it, I thought, why not gather together? Uh, been magical, Kimberly says. And let me know the topics. Uh, somebody was asking about bodies. Uh, we can go deeper about uh, entrepreneurs. We can go deeper wherever you w wish to go. This is this is my gift to you about being present with the magic that we be. Like, what if there was no nothing wrong? Who could you be? What could you be? How could you be? Vanessa said, thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, if you're called to work with me deeper, right? Private message me and uh, let's see what we can create together. Right? Uh, I have clients that I work with all around the world. So grateful for all of you reaching out. Uh, Tessa says, thank you, Susan. It's been magical. Darius said, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. It's wonderful. Yay. Gita says, hmm, what's your take on difference between the energy of magic and, and the energy fortune? Uh, I don't have an answer for you there, Gita. I don't have an energy fortune. I'm not sure what that is for you. Uh, magic is, right? Uh, fortune has a dead end to it for me. Uh, like, oh, I've made my fortune, finished. Or uh, I have to make my fortune, right? There's, there's, there's nothing beyond that word. You know, you hear, uh, you hear people talking about fortune as it, if it feels very significant, it feels very structured, right? That, that's where my energy goes with fortune. And you know the word fortune, and you know me, uh, Gita, and we've had lots of conversations. It, for me, it's about the energy of the words that you use and about being in the question and being the question of the words. And so for myself, I'm always asking how, um, with money. I don't even, I, I just, I be with money. I talk to money. I ask money to multiply. When I write a, an invoice, a, a check out, I say, what would it take for this to come back tenfold? It's about being everything. I live in abundance, right? Uh, so it's, it's, it's about surrounding yourself in abundance. That creates the magical environment that creates more magic. Yeah. Uh, let me know how that rings for you. Rosanna said, I'm feeling so grateful for you in my life. Oh, me to you, Rosanna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Anything else about money that's popping for you? And if you have any more questions, you know what? I love it when you private Facebook me, but put them also in the, the
the Ask Susan Facebook so everybody can see them. And I totally appreciate it when people write me. You know, I love to hear from you no matter when, how, or what. So I adore you all. Uh, I will see you living in abundance, says Maskanji. Absolutely. Abundance is your umbrella. Abundance. It's like, you know, that's why I love walking outside. Uh, there's such an abundance. There's, there's sound, there's sight, there's taste, there's smell. That's why I love to cook. Uh, that's why I love... This has texture to it. It's everything is, is abundant. Are you living in an abundant universe? That's what creates you with the ease of creating the magic you truly be. Do you ever get something done like you thought it would take forever when you're actually enjoying it? Well, are you willing to enjoy money? I wonder what that could look like for you, right? Gratitude for money, acknowledgement of money, the willingness to enjoy money, um, no matter what it looks like. Yay. Kimberly says, magic with abund and abundance. Yes, please, living in abundance. I love you all. I will see you on Sunday with our weekly Ask Susan Sunday. And uh, if you have any topics, I'll be writing the newsletter tomorrow. So uh, let me know. All right. Goodbye, Jane. Thanks for just popping in. Check it all out. We've had a lot of juicy nuggets and a few actual tools. And uh, I'm so grateful for all of you. I, you you can't even possibly know. My gratitude is like huge. And again, if, if, you're, if you're called to work with me on a deeper level, please contact me. Uh, Jim says, I got my taxes back. Yay, Jim. All right. Live boldly, love greatly, and be that fearless leader you came here to be. Right? A fearless leader is one who actually embraces everything with no judgment. And I wonder how much more money will come into your life with that point of view. So grateful for you too, Kimberly. Thank you so much. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.